Okay, um, question three is a route inspection question. One of the clues is uh, when we give them the total weight here. But anyway, uh, we have a uh, figure one models a network of tracks in a forest that need to be inspected by a park ranger. The number on each arc is the length in kilometres of that section of the forest track. Each track must be traversed at least once and the length of the inspection route must be minimised. The inspection route taken by the ranger must start and finish at vertex A. So let's put that one. Must start and finish at A. Uh, you must make your method uh, and work in clear. So let's look at the uh, different options. First of all, for this one, we need to look at the odd nodes. And I'm going to highlight them. Uh, let's see. This one, D, is an odd node. One, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Odd nodes means that the valency or the order of the nodes is odd. So there's three arcs coming from this one. We've got this one there, one, two, three, four, five. So F's one, it's two, three, four, uh, K. One, two, three, let's just check. There shouldn't be more than four. That's it. So, start with this. Odd nodes are D, E, F and K. And then we'll look at the pairings. Look at the possible pairings. Possible pairings. Now we've got, uh, just work logically, we've got DE, DE equals, and that means the other pairing will be F and K. F, K equals, let's go to the middle. Then we've had DE, so let's do DF. D, F equals, so that must be E, K, E, K equals. And then let's, the last one must be D, K, D, K equals, and that means uh, D, K, E and F, E, F equals. Now we'll get the totals at the bottom each time. Right, well, we want the shortest distance, and you must put... Uh, the nodes that you visit if you're going via somewhere else. So let's look at DNA. Now at first thought you'd think DE that's the shortest 36. But if you look at this one that's a bit more. But this one 23 and 12 that is 35. So it's 35 kilometers via A. Via A. And you must put these parts via. F and K. Let's look at the shortest one, 21 and 14, 3 and 12. That's obviously the shortest, 3 and 12, so uh, that's 15. 15 via J. Right, add these up, 35, that's, uh, 40, that's 50 kilometres. Then let's look at the next one, uh, DF, D to F, 36 and 25. Uh, 23, 12, 10 and 19, that's longer. Uh, 14, ah, oh, that's shorter there. 14, 7 and 3. So uh, we've got uh, 14, 21, 24. So that's DF is 24. And that is via H and J. H and J. Let's look at A and K now. So A to K. Let's look at the shortest one. 25, 21 and 14, or 47 and 12, that one, this one looks the shortest, 25, 3 and 12, so 28, 38, uh, 40, so we've got 40, and that is via, uh, okay, so via F and J, F and J, let's look at the last one, D and K, D to K, uh, let's have a look. Uh, this is quite long, 36, 40, 25, 21. Yeah, you can say straight away that this is the shortest one. 14, 7 and 12. So 14, 21, 31, 33. So that's uh, 33 via H and J. H and J. And then AF. 25 there, just check to make sure there's nothing shorter. That one's 29, that's much longer. So, uh, EF. EF is 
25 and it's not via anything let's just add all these up 40 24 that's 64 kilometers uh, 30 50 58 kilometers so this is the one here so let's have a check the question uh, state the arcs that should should be repeated so these are the arcs that should be repeated here so you repeat DE uh, via A and repeat FK via J and you should write that down but this this is repeated okay that's the shortest so that's uh, the first one done state the number of times that vertex J should appear in the inspection route now uh, if you look at this here it says via J so we know that J is repeated so if you look at the arcs here let's just uh, take this for example if we start at F we're coming in so you'd have F J that's coming in there and, and come out so that H, then L, and then back to J, and then K. So you can say J is repeated twice there, uh, but it says that J is repeated also. So it's going to be visited one more time. So that means it's going to be three times. Does it ask for any? There's only one mark for that. So you'd say um, J would appear three times. Okay, let's have a look at this one. The landowner decides to build two huts. One at hut K, I'll just get it, this is a different colour. One at hut K. Uh, and the other hut at a different vertex. In future, the ranger will be able to start his inspection route at one hut and finish at the other. So, he's going to start at K and finish at another one. To make it the shortest. The inspection route must still traverse each track at least once. Determine where the other hut should be built so that the length uh, of the route is minimised. You must give reasons and state a possible route and its length. It's quite a bit there to do. Four marks. So if we're going to start at K, let's have a look um, at the possible pairings we've got. If you start at K uh, here, we could finish um, at F. And we'd have to repeat 35 kilometers. Uh, we could here start at K and finish at E. That means we're repeating 24 kilometers. Uh, and we start at K and finish at D. That means we'd have to repeat 25. So you can see the shortest one is going to be um, this one that's left. So what would say was something like uh, start, this is for part C. Um, you'd say start at uh, K and finish at E so that uh, D E is repeated uh, because D A is the shortest out of uh, D A it was 24 and the other one that could have been repeated A F A F it was 25 and the other one would have been if it started at K and finished at F it would have been D E DE equals 35. So you can say DE is the shortest by one kilometre. Okay, now what we do, it says uh, you must give reasons, uh, state a possible route and its length. Okay, I when I'm doing the lengths, I like to get the repeats done first and see where we're going to go from there. So let's have a look, let's pick this one. So we're going to start at E, okay, I'll start at E. Um, and we're going to repeat, um, let's see, we're going to repeat, let's see, which one does it say repeat? D and F via H and J. So that's one we're going to repeat. So I'm going to do that straight away so that I can get that out of the way. So it's E to D. 
so I'll put the root up here so I'll just put that so you can see it on the screen but it would normally be down the bottom so I want E D and then I'm going to do the repeat it says D F I H and J so down there down there down there so that's the D F I H and J so I've got uh, H J F and then I'm going to go back over because what that needs repeated there you can put them on if you want the arcs to be repeated to remind you so that goes back there repeat 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 there so you've got G H D that's it now now um, the only route to come out now because we've done all the repeats is this way so I'll go across to A and then E a, A, and then I'll just keep going across here. Uh, this one here is, what letter is that? H, and L. H, L. And I'll go around this rectangle here, uh, parallelogram I should say. J, K, M, L. J, K, M, L. And then come round to G, round there. G. Now I want to finish it, K, so I'm not going to go that way this time. I'll go this way. And you can see a route that's coming up. So I'm going to go this way. So we've got C, F, B, E. C, F, B, E. And then finish off. To, we're not finishing the K, so it's going to be F, G, K. F, G, K. That's it. Now it says, uh, it's state its length. Now it tells you in the question that the weight of the network is 451. So the weight of the network is going to be 451 plus what we need to repeat is 24. 24. So it's going to be 475. 475 kilometers. That's the length. And that's the lot.